Because last night I was doing some calls, talking to some dudes, and they were going through some things. What's up, Paco? And they're talking about this course. And they're talking about taking the first step to quit drinking. And they're talking about um, how their business is going on. They got all these freaking things going on. But they're in the moment right now, and they're so worried about step number eight. Or 45 days down the road, or 90 days, or what's gonna happen, where am I gonna be in, in six months? That they can't even take that first step. So, what actually happens is your mind starts creating some sort of problem that doesn't even exist. Like, but I've been there before. This is, this is uh, never in business for me because it seems like in business, I'm able just to take action immediately, whatever we need to do, whether it's picking up the phone, like that's the one skill that just comes like, you know, natural, just be able to work and talk and do what I need to do. But it, this for me, was kind of the same thing that happened to me when I was wanting to quit drinking, right? I had seven major relapses, but one of the things that would happen is my mind would create these problems because I would start getting overwhelmed about where I should be, like, like about my, the process I was gonna go through. Like it looked so big that I started thinking about it and I'm like, oh fuck, dude, what's gonna happen if I, I go to rehab and in 28 days I'm in there or 35 days or 90 days and I get out and be left on my own, I'm gonna have all these different things to do and I, I just don't know what to do. Right, I'm so worried and I start thinking about it. I'm gonna take the first step though, I wanna take action, then the next thing you know, I'm fucking boom. I'm right back drinking, right? I'm right back into what I didn't wanna do and it's got a hold of me. And then the next day comes around and I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna get up today and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna go turn myself into rehab or I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make sure I join a course like I offer for some men or I'm going to fucking read some books or whatever it may be, but I'm gonna take the action today, I'm gonna do it. And then boom, the, my mind starts creating the problem. It's creating, creating, creating. I've started thinking and about all these self doubts, all these things are rushing in my head. And the next thing you know, I've done this enough days into the row, in a row where fear sets in. And you know, fear, false events appearing real or whatever, whatever you want to say. But the truth is that fear is real because I didn't know what was happening. It's not so much the fear that I'm afraid of what's gonna happen, it's the fear that's in front of me right now. All of a sudden the fear collapsed on top of me and I can't fucking get out of it. I can't step out of it and you can't stop out of it. All of a sudden you're in this spot where you want to take the step forward, you want to charge forward, you want to start the business, you want to put the drugs down, you want to put the alcohol down. All of a sudden you're living in this fear bubble, this fear circle, and you're fucked. And you don't know how to get out of it. Then what happens? Paralyzation. Because your mind's racing all over the place like, shit, I don't know what to do. I, I, I committed to myself to taking the first step, which in reality, you didn't really commit because you're not there, but you made the decision to start thinking about it. And then you're worrying about it and your mind's creating these problems and then that fear set in and I'm paralyzed, I'm just stuck and I don't know what to do. So then what happens? Getting too many messages here. Then what happens? Old comfortable, right? So for me, Beer was always like this thing. It was like a friend that was never going to go away. I knew that it was always going to be there. I knew that the, the rat race, the, the uh, cesspool of life that I lived in, the issues, not even the issues, but the, the lifestyle that I was so accustomed to was going to be there. So I started looking at myself as I wanted to take this first step and I knew it was so critical, so crucial to everything I do, right? But it got more comfortable. It got more comfortable for me just to go back to what I was used to. It's a lot easier to fly into the bar, act like an asshole, spend a couple bucks, maybe get in a fight, spit on somebody or whatever the fuck I would do, act like a complete douchebag, like literally, and be comfortable. And it was like never going to let me go. And right at that point, when you get there every single day, is when a little bit more failure would set in, a little bit more... Um, self-confidence is lost and the belief systems you have in yourself and you're at the point where it's like fuck I can't do this and you like I said you can relate this to your business you can relate this to going to the gym you relate it relate this to anything and that point right there when you do it enough times is where the 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 dreams are squandered they're lost right there because how many people took the action to take the first step, they started going, it didn't work right, it didn't work right, it didn't work right, their dream of being clean and sober, their dream of building this business, this dream of being 6% body fat, or this dream of losing 20 pounds, or whatever the fuck it is, you're at the point where it gets difficult, it gets outside your comfort zone, and you're fucking at the point where it's happened so many times that you don't know what to do and you just wanna give up. And that's when you start giving up on your dreams. And you start justifying to yourself that, hey, it's okay. It's okay if I'm a little bit overweight. It's okay if I'm gonna drink. Like, look at fucking Bill over here. He's missing all his teeth. You know, he's got fuck. He's got 20 bucks to his name. He's doing all right. He's gonna get a pizza from here. Slide on down to Taco Tuesday. It's gonna be $1. He's gonna buy some shitty, dirty tacos. Hang out. He's gonna be just good, right? You start justifying in your life 
all these things that just seem normal. And what actually happens is the hope you had, the courage you had, everything you did about wanting to take this first step gets regressed and starts going backwards. And you start losing it, losing it and going down and down and down. And that's the path to rock bottom. Now, when you do that enough time, you take enough action, you start going the other way, even though you're taking that first step and you could have just got through that first initial rough spot, that first initial, initial part where you're like, fuck, my mind's not going to create these problems. I'm going to concentrate and focus, which is the main purpose of this. I'm going to concentrate. I'm going to focus right now in front of me of everything I have to do right now for this second. That's what I'm going to focus on. And that's going to help me build this business. That's going to help me establish dominance on the internet. That's going to help me do all the things outside that I'm unaccustomed to doing that make me feel out, you know, not feel like me. But now that same progress is goes backwards. It starts working. You're digressing. You're going backwards. The hope, the courage, the dreams, everything that you want for yourself is pushing slightly, slightly slower, 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 slower down to, if you could see my, my line right here on my notes to a line. And you back at that point where you're at, yeah, look at it this way. One side of the line is a, is a choice, and the choice can go both ways. Do I want to choose to beat this? Do I want to choose to give up? Do I want to choose to be resilient? Do I want to be choose to, to be known as a man that's going to stand up for what, I'm a, what I believe in? Do I want to be the person I want to be? Do I want to be the woman I want to be? Do I want to own the business I want to own? Or do I want to make this fucking final everlasting decision to go the other way? And it truly is that point, Right? When you can look at things, I actually was thinking about this the other day. I remember a time when I was talking to Eric Stomsky out on the lot, when I was selling cars, and even, you know, I wish I could get some of this back. I don't have that same tenacity that I did because life got a little bit better. I got a little more comfortable. But at the same time, you know, I just, I skilled up. But there was a time when I went to work every day and I looked at it as it was fucking life or death. Because I knew what was on the other side of that was me going back out, going back out drinking, going use it. I knew that if I didn't go to the gym or if I didn't hit every dealer, I didn't hit these checkpoints, these barriers, if I didn't get a mentor, if I didn't spend my money on becoming a better me and put all that I fucking had into it, it was like death. And when you can get real, real, <laughs> when you can get really real about that and you look at it to the point where it is actually fucking life or death and you're at that point. All those little progresses that you made, all those little, those little states of being uncomfortable, those little worries that are there, these false events appearing real, I can't even talk tonight. All these things, this paralyzation, paralyzed feel go away because you want to know why? And it doesn't fucking matter. It's the same thing over and over and over. It's hard work. But the problem is many of us can't even get to that first step. We can't even get to put the work in. Because when we get to the take the first step, we get to that spot, we get worried about what's going to happen. We put the apple before the horse or the cart before the apple, whatever the fuck that saying is, but you put it out in front of you so far out there that it actually looks impossible to do. And nobody wants to take the mentality of one day at a time when the truth and reality that every single thing you do, no matter how rich, poor you are, how uh, fat, skinny, tall, small, whatever you are, no matter what you do, we all have the same fucking thing. That's one day right now in front of us to do what we want to do. And I know a lot of these things I talk about are sometimes I, I go back to like this dark spot, but it's right now we're building momentum. And this is something that's on my mind. I'm actually not even on the notes, but I'm freestyling flowing from, from what I know, but I'm at a spot right now where I have the same thing. The next level of me, the next level of you, the next level of the guy next to you requires the same fucking action, taking that first step. Not being paralyzed, not being laid back, not being beaten down by what goes on right here. I tell my son the other day, you know, he, he thinks about, he thinks if you go to the gym and you build these muscles, that's what makes you strong and how he's going to win. And when I practice my basketball shots and all these fucking different things, I said, no, man. Yeah, it's going to make you better. It's going to help. It's going to skill you up. It's going to level you up. You're going to be better. But if you really, truly want to win, you got to train your brain. And he asks me, well, what does that mean, dad? And I just kind of went down through some random questions through. I'm like, well, let's just talk about you real quick. And you can do this same test. He's standing in front of the mirror. I say, do you like what you see? And he said, yeah. And he flexes his muscles. Do you like your muscles? Do you think you're smart? Do you think you're, uh, do you think you're handsome? Do you think you're going to have a bright future? Do you, do you think, like, do you think there's anything wrong with you? And he's like, no, man, I'm, like, I'm good. And I'm like, see, that's confidence you already have because you like who you are. 
Now where I'm going with this is to be able to have the ability to take that first step, no matter what it is, whether it, uh, no matter what it is, I don't need to re keep relisting them, re them. You've gotta be able to have the confidence. And this confidence that many men, many women, many people are fucking struggling from or, or broken from or, or whatever, they're not having a chance to even bring it back. Not, it, the, the lack of confidence, the fear, the paralyzation, the hope, the courage, all these things that are gone become from the lack of action, from not even being able to take that first step. So I guess if you're out there right now tonight, if you're out there tonight listening to this and you've got something on your mind and I can think of some of the people I coach today who hopefully are watching this right now and you've got something on your mind and you don't know, you don't know what you don't know, but you know you need to take the step because you know where you're at is not where you want to be. The most important thing that you can do in starting any journey you're about to go on it's to just to be able to take that first step and knowing that when you take that first step that all you have to concentrate on right now today is what's in front of you. I remember a time when I was drinking, I was sitting at my dad's bar a couple blocks away. It's sunny out, it's hot. I'd been coked out of my mind for about six days straight. Didn't go home. I was looking, I was drinking a shitty fucking Miller Genuine Draft light, which I don't even know why I drank that. And that just happened to be what was in my hand. And I look at it and I put it down and I left. I had about a 10 minute walk to my house and the thoughts were rushing through my head about the fact that I just let go of something to start something new, knowing that I was about to face the withdrawals, knowing I was about to face the, the fact that I had cocaine in my pocket, I was gonna have to throw it away and I'm gonna have to try to lay down and get some sleep. My voice, the voices are gonna be going in my head. The struggle is gonna be up. I almost quit, but I was able to get to that point, called some friends over, had them watch me and I got myself able to get through the first night. And then be able to get through the second night, be able to get through the third night, be able to get through the fourth night. And the next thing you know, I strung together some time. Now, I wish I could say it stuck, but we all know that you guys all know the, the truth, right? It didn't really stick until I finally fucking realized I couldn't do it. But my point was, no matter where you're at in your journey, as your entrepreneurship, entre, entrepreneur journey, and your weightlifting journey, and your relationship journey, and your addiction journey, everything we worry about right now is in front of us. Just right now, the next second is the only one that's promised. And even you're going to get to the point when someday that next second isn't promised. But you have to fill in the dots in the meantime by putting positive action forward. So tonight, as you're reading this, think about it. What's the first step that you can take right now to better your situation? And if your situation's already better, and your situation 